I am only a humble watchman, and my only goal is to be pleasing to God. Some time ago, at 3 a.m., I was lying in bed and I was trying to get to sleep. I had a tough time getting to sleep. And then I was, I was startled. And I really, I literally shook because of a very loud and hard and heavy knock, knock, knock on my bedroom door. Now this was a, a very deliberate knock, almost a pounding at my bedroom door. I was, I was shocked. And I, I literally shook when I heard this, this really loud noise at my bedroom door. And uh, now there was, there was no one in my home that would knock at my, on my bedroom door, not like that, not unless it was an emergency. Now I, I stopped and I laid there real still and I thought to myself, did I just, did I just really hear that on my bedroom door? And I was thinking if someone was at my, my door, surely they would say something, but no one, no one answered and no one said a word. So I just wrote it off that it was a kind of a twilight kind of a dream. And I turned over and I still tried to get back to sleep. But then two nights later, and again at 3 a.m., I was trying to get to sleep. And I heard the very same loud, hard, heavy, knock, knock, knock on my bedroom door. Now I was, I was, I was startled and I was shocked. Now I thought, now this is just too much. This is too much. And the funny thing is, both nights I was having trouble getting to sleep. So I was actually trying to get to sleep. Now have you ever heard of anyone having a dream where someone is knocking loudly at their bedroom door? And then having the exact same dream twice a day apart? I've never heard of that. But now this second time that I heard this knock at my bedroom door, I thought, I will answer this knock. So I spoke up and loudly, I said, yes, Lord, I am awake. Are you awake? Do you know what time it is? Are you watching the signs? Jesus is returning soon to rapture the faithful out of here. Are you ready for the rapture? Do you hear the knock at your bedroom door? Do you hear the knock at your, at your heart? Jesus is knocking on your heart and your heart door. Will you answer his knock? God does not want anyone to lose their soul in hell. Hell was not made for people but rather for Satan, his demons, the Nephilim, and fallen angels. So, if you end up in hell, you will be there with all these terrible entities who will torment you forever and ever without end. And God sends no one to hell. They send themselves to hell by the life they live. All you must do to be saved is to humble yourself and admit that you are a sinner in need of a savior and repent of all your sin, and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that Jesus was crucified and died on an old wooden cross on Calvary, that he was buried, but on the third day he arose from the grave, and he walked this earth again inside of men, and that Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men, and that Jesus now sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return and pray to place all your sin under the blood of Jesus. Pray for Jesus to enter your heart and give you a new heart and to be with you all the days of your life that you have left on this earth. And you need to speak these words with your mouth. Now I wanna remind you that Azusa Street prayer line is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And this runs from 8 Central p.m. Central Standard Time to 9 p.m. or the last caller now, we have gone as late as about 11, 11 p.m. So if, if you call a little after nine, we're probably still on the line. If you, a friend or a family member needs prayer, 
please call and we will pray for you. Now, if we are busy praying for someone, please hold or you can call back in a few minutes and we will get to you as soon as possible. Now, that number is 518-318-7813. And now this line is not recorded and there are no commercials. And also remember the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church, the underground church. This will be the church that will be persecuted, hunted down, and prosecuted as we will not conform to what other churches have become. And we will never get a 501c3 from the IRS as that is how the government controls the organized churches. We will not obey men, but we will obey God. And that website is www.azusa.com. Uh, we will be open as long as they allow us to be here, and then we will move underground. If you agree with our, <clears throat> with our goals and our mission statement, we invite you to join us. Now, God bless you and yours mightily, and we keep you and yours in our prayers. Now, you all have been a blessing to all, to all of us. And we thank God every day <clears throat> for sending you to us. And we keep you in our prayers with much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we're going home soon. We're going home soon. I'm just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. We love you all so very much. We love you all so very much. <clears throat> and these are the last days. And the Bible says that when you see all these things come about, look up for your redemption drive nigh. So we know, we know Jesus is coming soon. Coming soon for his faithful bride to take us home. To take us home. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, we're going home. We're going home. We're going home. We will see you. We will see you on the streets of gold on that day. We love you. Keep you in our prayers. Amen.